Hi there, welcome. I'm Dr. Newsom, and I'm here to bring you optimal health naturally. Today we're talking about the immune system. We're gonna talk about the connection between the immune system and microbial balance. Let's dive right in. Where we need to start today is the biological terrain of the body. What is the terrain of the body? The internal environment of the body. Well, I'm gonna give you an example. Think of a fishbowl, okay? If you got a fishbowl and the water is nice and clean, the fish is nice and healthy. If the fishbowl is dirty and the water is all murky and gross, the fish gets sick. Well, your body is designed with water around your cells. And if that water, if that extracellular fluid is dirty, guess what? Your cells get sick. If that extracellular fluid is nice and clean, your cells stay nice and healthy. Now, in that environment around our cells, that is where we have, we have microbes living, we have uh, nutrients moving, we have hormones flowing all through there. So we got all these, these things traveling through that extracellular fluid. Um, let, me, let me give you an example here real quick. We've got, in our stomach alone, we have over 25, we have 25 or more probiotic microbes that live in our stomach alone. You move into the intestines and you have over 5,000 probiotic microorganisms that live in our intestines. Um, you go to the skin. The skin has over 1,000 probiotic microorganisms living on it. Uh, the respiratory system has over 600 uh, probiotic microorganisms that live in it. And then our urinary tract. Our urinary tract has over 60 microbes that live in our urinary tract. And they have to be there. And if the environment is healthy, if they have ni nice clean water to live in, right, that nice clean fishbowl, if that environment is healthy, these microbes stay in good balance. If that environment is dirty and murky and the fishbowl gets all dirty, we lose our balance. So we have two different types of microorganisms. We have the ones we just talked about, which are symbiotic probiotic microorganisms, okay? And we have the ones that we're just host for, okay? And the ones that we're just host for include parasites, you know, and all the nasty things that parasites do. Uh, there are things like, bac there's bacteria, like, st like strep and staph, you know, staph on the skin, strep throat, those types of things. We have bacteria that cause diseases like Lyme's di you know, Lyme disease. Uh, Lyme disease is caused by bacteria. We have, uh, Fungus, you know, you get fungus on your toes and fungus in your toenails, and uh, but there's also other fungus that grow in our sinuses, in our ears, on our the rest of our skin, even in in you know in our respiratory system and our gut. Um, there are viruses. Then we have viruses. You know, viruses cause all kinds of viral issues. You have chronic viral issues like hepatitis and HIV and herpes and Epstein Barr and those types of things. But you also have acute viral issues like uh, cold and flu viruses, right? And then lastly, we have mold. And mold, mold creates what we call biofilm. And biofilm both blocks nutrients from coming into the system, but also block toxins from leaving the system. Okay, and what I want to bring to you on this here is that the more of these microorganisms that are just using us as a host that you have in your system, the fewer of the symbiotic, probiotic microorganisms you have in your system. Remember, you're the fishbowl. So the more of the bad guys you have, the fewer of the good guys you have. And vice versa, the more good guys you have, the fewer bad guys you have. So it's, it's a delicate balance. This is a balance in what the, what the same way that, um, you know, a bacterial infection, viral infection, you know, all these other infections, same way that those trigger our immune system to have these inflammatory responses that we have, probiotic microorganisms soothe our body, our immune system, and settle down our immune system. So they, there's this uh, two sides of the coin, okay? And the state of your fishbowl determines which group you are promoting. So how do we achieve this microbial balance that we're talking about? How do we, you know, get that clean fishbowl, right? Well, first off, we have to clean the fishbowl. Uh, things like colloidal silver, um, 
botanicals, herbals like uh, berberine, chlorogenic acid, curcumin, boswellia, black pepper, okay, all of these things are antimicrobial and they will reduce the numbers of the bad guys in our system, right? And we need to use those for a while and then switch over to fortifying our microbiome. Okay, fortifying the, those symbiotic, probiotic microorganisms in our, in our system. Okay, and we, for that, we need to, one, we need to add more probiotics to our system. Okay, so they can take over the terrain. Uh, we need to use digestive enzymes to set the right environment in our gut so that our, our, our microbiome can be propagated, right? We've got to feed them with fulvic and humic acids and things like that so that they, they, they grow and they, they can take over the territory of our internal environment of our body. Um, when we have probiotics in control of the, the internal environment of our body, our immune system uh, can work better, number one. Number two, the, these probiotics cultivate our system. Okay, so I want you to think of this. Think of you, you own a farm and you cultivate the fields and you grow all this great stuff in your farm and everything, but all of a sudden some criminals come along and try to take your farm from you. Okay, this, the type of communication that you would have with the police Okay, you get on the phone, you call the police, tell the police everything you can tell them about these criminals that are attacking you, right? You do that so that when the police arrive to take care of the criminals, they arrive prepared. Well, our immune system in our, our probiotic microorganisms, these symbiotic probiotic microorganisms in our system, have that kind of relationship. So they cultivate the internal environment of our, our body, making it as healthy as it possibly can be, while at the same time, if they're attacked, they get on the horn and they, they get a hold of the immune system and say, hey, we're being attacked by X, Y, Z, they got this, they're doing that, all these different things, okay? And the immune system then arrives prepared to deal with those criminals, okay? So this is super, super important stuff. So um, first off, they, we have to clean the fishbowl, right? Because we have to create the right environment to grow those, those good symbiotic, probiotic microorganisms in our system. Then we have to fall, we gotta fortify them. We've got to try to grow them in our system, okay? Get them growing in our system and allow them to get to you know, permeate our system so that then they act as a, 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 another barrier, another component of our immune system. So kind of to recap here, um, your, I, can't, I can't even express how important it is to have a very healthy microbiome because when that is healthy, those microbes are communicating with your immune system and that communication creates a healthier environment in our body. So that healthy environment then propagates healthier immune function, healthier microbiome itself. So all these things, they, they just start to build each other. So we can either have a dirty environment growing the wrong things, or we can have a clean environment growing the right things. And in that clean environment, everything operates better. So I hope all this made sense to you. Um, if you're looking for more information on you know, how to clean your fishbowl and how to grow that healthy microbiome, I invite you to visit our website. Thank you very much.